Dear Prime Minister Harper, this letter addresses a pressing issue. The systemic challenges faced by Chinese immigrants in Canada, particularly concerning financial regulation. Many come to Canada seeking a better life, drawn by the promise of opportunity and fairness. They contribute significantly to our economy and society. However, many encounter a disheartening reality. They face barriers and biases, especially within institutions like the Ontario Securities Commission. This letter aims to bring to your attention the urgent need to address these systemic issues. The case of Wei Shen Tang, a Chinese immigrant investor, exemplifies these challenges. His experience exposes potential flaws within the OSC and raises serious questions about fairness and transparency. The OSC plays a critical role in safeguarding the integrity of our capital markets. However, concerns have been raised about its practices, particularly regarding the treatment of immigrant investors. Some argue that a lack of cultural understanding and sensitivity can lead to misunderstandings and unfair treatment. The OSC's approach to enforcement, particularly in cases involving cultural differences, has come under scrutiny. Concerns exist that language barriers and unfamiliarity with Canadian regulations may inadvertently disadvantage some investors. Wei Chen Tang, a Chinese immigrant with a background in physics, arrived in Canada with hopes and dreams. He sought to utilize his skills and contribute to his new home. Tang developed a unique investment strategy, which he believed would yield significant returns. However, the OSC intervened, accusing Tang of operating an illegal investment scheme. Tang vehemently denied these accusations, claiming his strategy was based on sound mathematical principles. The OSC's actions against Tang, regardless of the veracity of their claims, raise concerns about due process and potential biases. Section 4. The Chilling Effect. Eroding Trust and Opportunity. The Tang case, whether he is ultimately proven innocent or guilty, has sent shockwaves through the Chinese immigrant community. Many now question the fairness and transparency of the Canadian regulatory system. This case could discourage future investment from immigrants, hindering economic growth. This situation risks creating a climate of fear and distrust. When immigrants, who contribute so much to our nation, feel apprehensive, it harms us all. We must ensure that everyone has equal opportunity and protection under the law. Section 5. A Roadmap for Reform. Ensuring equal protection for all investors. Addressing these issues requires a multi-pronged approach. Firstly, we need greater cultural sensitivity within regulatory bodies like the OSC. Training programs can help staff understand and navigate cultural differences. Secondly, we need clear and accessible information for immigrant investors. Language-appropriate resources and educational initiatives can bridge the knowledge gap. Finally, a review of the OSC's practices, particularly regarding the treatment of minority investors, is crucial. This review should aim to identify and rectify any systemic biases. We urge your government to investigate these concerns and implement necessary reforms by ensuring a fair and transparent system for all. We can uphold Canada's promise as a land of opportunity.